waiting for a ride. Standing at the baggage, passing time, Austin, Texas airport. My ride hasn't come yet. My former wife is making websites from her home. One son's seldom seen. The other one and his wife have a boy and a girl of their own. My wife and stepdaughter are spending weekends in town so she can get to high school. My mother, 96, still lives alone and she's in town too. Always gets her sanity back just in time. My former, former wife has become a unique poet. Most of my work, such as it is, is done. Full moon was October 2nd this year. I ate a moon cake, slept out on the deck, white light beaming through the black boughs of the pine, owl hoots and rattling antlers, castor and pollux rising strong. It's good to know that the pole star drifts, that even our present night sky slips away. Not that I'll see it, or maybe I will. Much later, some far time walking the spirit path in the sky. That long walk of spirits, where you fall right back into the narrow, painful, passageway of the bardo. Squeeze your little skull. And there you are again, waiting for your ride. Snow flies, burn brush, shut down. A wide line of men in the open pine woods Diesel torches, dropping flame, lava, soil, frost on the sagebrush. Loggers walking from brush pile to brush pile. Dark sky, reddish from brush piles burning. At Sid Walter Butte, three men on horseback, torches mounted on slender lances, crisscrossing miles of buttes and canyons. Hundreds of brush piles aflame, steady light snow. Some of these are haibun. They're derived from the Japanese form known as haibun, which is a short prose piece followed by a very short poem. This is a high point. One day in late summer. One day in late summer in the mid-90s, I had lunch with my old friend Jack Hogan, ex-labor union worker and activist of San Francisco at a restaurant in my small Sierra town. The owner had recently bought and torn down the adjoining brick building, which had been in its own time a second-hand bookstore run by a puckish ex-chemist. Our lunch table in the patio was right where his counter had been. Jack was married to my sister once. We all hung out in North Beach back in the 50s, but now he lives in Mexico. This present moment that lives on to become long ago.